Hello and welcome to Cold Front. This is a short visual novel that's probably like around an hour. Um, it is not a furry visual novel, but it is, at least from what I saw, a little bit um, fruity. Um, at least that's how it came out to me, like when I saw the synopsis and stuff like that. So this is about two uh, teenagers because they are of high school age. And um, they're currently in a car. They're supposed to be talking about the last day of one of them being there in town because they're moving off to university. But all of a sudden, in the middle of July, or towards the end of July, I should say, there's a snowstorm and they get stuck there. And stuff happens. So obviously the snowstorm is... Uh, well, you guys will see. I didn't play it through. It, you can see that it says continue. I just played it towards the beginning, and it, it was interesting. Anyway, so be forewarned. This is this will contain a bit of not spooky stuff, but a bit um. Oh, well, it was in the horror category, so it's a horror visual novel, but um. Uh, don't be deterred by the fact that it's horror, you know, just, okay? Anyway, so, um, without further ado, let us begin Cold Front. This game is a work of fiction. There may be contents of blood, gore, disturbing imagery, and audio. So, arrow, Z, or space to confirm. X to cancel or pause. Shift to run or skip. On a cold winter evening, a new family moved into the house next door. Then a few days later, a bright doorbell echoed throughout the house. I quickly followed behind my mother, walking to answer the door to peek at who had been standing outside. It was a lady next door who had just moved in. The lady and my mother started talking until she finally saw me hiding behind my mother's back. She then said this, I have a son your age, but he hasn't come out of his room ever since we moved in. Could you go in there and be his friend? Whoa, this house is much bigger than I thought. The stairs coming up here are a bit too high, though. It'd be bad if anyone fell. So that kid's in his room up there, huh? Bold of that lady to start bossing me around as soon as she saw me. I'm the one who's going to decide if I want to be his friend or not. What kind of kid is he anyway? Is he some kind of fairy tale princess or something? Ugh, look at all these boxes. I guess they didn't finish unpacking their stuff. Hey, a stuffed elk doll. I have a stuffed bear back at my place. I know most people think that the horns on the elks are cooler, but I like bears better. There is a box here, another box over there. There is a box here, another box over there. How's looking at other people's washer gonna help? Who cares about clothes? This is the bathroom. A lot of boxes, people. What? Huh? It's locked. Who's there? I don't know that voice. Ah. Are you the kid that's stuck in their room all day? Open the door first, and then I'll tell ya. N no, thank you. Please just leave. Eh? Why not? Just open it, will you? Mm. Let's kick down the door. You leave me no choice. But what are you? Stay back. I'm going in. 
Wait a minute. You're not actually trying to break down my... Uh, are you actually doing it? Wah. The door quickly opens before you got to kick the door. Ah, oh, hey, it worked. What? Wait, are you crying? Are you crying because I came in here? But I just got here. Do you like being alone that much? I was already crying. And that isn't the reason why. What? Then why are you crying? Because I'm lonely. All my friends are back where I used to live. Now I have no one. No matter how hard I try, all the kids here already know each other. It's going to be hard for me to fit in. Even if they don't hang out with me. It's even if they do hang out with me. It's out of pity or adults telling them because I'm new. I don't want that. You're the same, right? You only came here because my mom told you to, right? Well, yeah. I knew it. You also feel sorry for me. But I didn't come here to try and be your friend. What? Then why? I was curious about what kind of kid you were. And from what I've seen so far, I think you're pretty lame and whiny. And a bit of a scaredy crybaby. <laughs> Wah! You're so mean. But hey. I didn't say that I felt sorry for you, did I? Do you just assume everyone feels that way you think that they'd feel? The way that you think they feel? I talked to you once, and you're already accusing me of something that I've never even thought of. I think the real reason why you won't get any friends is the way that you're thinking right now. Deciding what will happen in the future, in your head, and never actually trying anything in the present to fix it. If you're worried about people being insincere when they approach you, why don't you make them be sincere then? I don't do friends just because someone told me to. So you try and make me want to be your friend first. Don't push people away from the start and keep working hard. And people that'll care about you will always stay by your side. That's what I was taught anyway. Okay. After our rather noisy first introduction, Winnie and I soon became inseparable. Since elementary school, and even now when we graduated high school, everyone in town knew us two were close. We went and did everything together. Same street, same school, and same class. Same lectures, same clubs, and same interests. Same hobbies. We were always together no matter what, to the point that sometimes it even felt a little eerie. But when he suddenly stopped talking to me since last winter, we haven't talked since. I don't know what he's thinking. It's the end of July. Winnie's family is moving far away tomorrow. My parents don't know. We haven't spoken in months, so... They told me to go out on a short drive with him. Since today was the last day, Winnie and I can properly spend our time together. You'd think that you'd be in the middle of a... That we'd be in the middle of a meaningful, reminiscent conversation with your friend by now. Or I guess it's you. If... It was the day before you're letting someone you've known for almost your whole life leave. But the car is silent. Click the elk symbol with your mouse to investigate. Wouldn't it be too weird to start rummaging through someone's stuff without their permission? 
especially if you haven't talked to that someone in almost half a year. It'd be awkward. I'll take a peek later or something when he's not here. To clarify, I clicked on the... Oh god, what is it called? The... The glove compartment. Now I'm clicking on his head. Since you can't see my mouse. Ugh. I can't just sit here in silence forever. Fine. Should I say something? I mean, there really isn't anything else you can click on, I think. So... What's with that look? Hmm, it's nothing. It's just been so long. I'm surprised that you talked to me first. <laughs> Go on. Oh, uh, why were you moving again? Do you remember? I got accepted into that uni that we wanted to go to. The transportation costs are high, and my parents are moving their workplace near there anyway. So we just decided to move somewhere close to where the school is. University, huh? Isn't that nice? Hmm? Ah. That does make me wonder. Hey, uh, didn't we apply to the same school together? Ah. Was I the only one that got accepted while you got turned down? Ah, don't feel so bad, Augie. I'll study hard for you on your behalf. Don't call me Augie. Ugh. Is he actually trying to encourage me? It just sounds like he's passive-aggressively showing off. Why were people, people crying outside of your house? Ah, those were my other friends. They all came by to say goodbye. So many people were crying. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I saw you got a bunch of bouquets and letters. And, ugh, last-minute confessions. Just when did you get that popular? You sure you don't want to spend your last day with me? Are you sure you want to spend your last day with me instead of your countless fans? Why do you not want to? Is your leg all healed up? Ah. Took you long enough to ask. <laughs> of course. I broke it last winter, right? It's been months since. Sometimes I lose strength in them, but... Other than that, it's all fully healed. Everything's back to normal. I never knew I'd suddenly trip down the stairs like that. And on the day of the finals, too. I later heard that you played my position in the game on my behalf that night. Yeah, and that didn't win. You were always better at hockey than me. The audience loves you more anyway. So, when are you going to ask? Uh, ask what? Wasn't all this you warming up the conversation so that you can ask about that? The reason why I suddenly stopped talking to you. You know why. Because you're an embarrassment to be around. Just by looking at that short conversation we had a month, moment ago. It's obvious that the difference between the two of us is incomparable. I got into the school you wanted to go to. I have a bucket full of other friends that adore me. I've been praised and recognized by the public. Then there's you. What are you? What do you have? No brains? No social life? No skills? Who does that make you? Trash. Trash is what you are. I pity you. You. What did you just say? Hmm? What's with that look? Say it. Say what you just said again. Ah, uh, uh, okay. What's with that look? What's wrong? You're so cold all of a sudden. Did I say something wrong? Let's just calm down and... How can I calm down when you're sitting there treating me like walking trash? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Who do you think you are? Why do you always... Is it snow snowing? 
yeah. Just to be clear, it's currently July, right? Yeah. What's going on? I don't know. I was too focused on talking with you. It, it was just like that when I looked back at the window. Uh, outside. Let's just go outside first. A and the door's frozen? Mm. It's totally jammed. Gah. No matter how hard I pull it, it just won't budge. I mean, you could try unlocking the door. Um, kick the door open. Open sesame. Ha! Open sesame. I think the car just got colder than before, Augustine. I need to prepare for this. My keyboard is on my lap. This leaves me no choice. Ooh, wait. Don't tell me that you're about to start kicking my... Press Z. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Okay. The door swung open. We're out. Ah. What? We really are out. What? Sorry, sorry. You should have dodged faster. <laughs> uh... Augustine, your clothes. Cold front. Eh, safe in the same spot. What the hell's going on? Why am I suddenly standing in the middle of a snowstorm in July? Snow in July. This really is serious. I didn't know climate change would come to be this extreme. Everyone, let's take better care of the Earth. That's not important right now. I mean, it is important, but... I guess even climate change can't just change outfits out of the blue. Look, look, our clothes. It's the outfit we wore last winter. This is awfully convenient. At least it keeps me warm. But if it was changed for our convenience sake, something doesn't match up. Our clothes suddenly swapping already doesn't match up. Mm. And his outfit. It's not pretty. Now that I think about it, your clothes. Aren't those for indoors? Yeah, while I did wear this during the winter, it was only when I was inside a building. Usually at school. Compared to you who's got a cozy hat with those ear thingies, a coat, even those cute little boots, perfect for the outdoors, Aren't you cold? Yeah, no, I am freezing. You moron, get back in the car right now. But B, but the door won't even close now after all that kicking you did. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Ah, this is so frustrating. Why is our outfit different? What even is this blizzard? What does all of this mean? It's, don't panic. We gotta preserve our energy. Ha. Huh. Hey, you okay? You've been shivering this whole time. Yeah, it's just so cold. Let me... S sit down and warm my hands a bit. Could you please check the car while I do that? Check for s something. That might be of use. 
Or if anything's wrong with it. How could I say no if you're asking me like that? I'll be quick. But don't close your eyes. If you do, that you won't be waking up. He. <laughs> Can I check this? No. Whoa. Everything's frozen on the inside already. Huh. I need something to melt it. Something with heat. Will I be able to find it? Wait. Why does it say we're out all of fuel? I saw it was almost full when I checked it before. The situation's more serious than I thought. Am I really going to freeze to death out here? Nothing else to click. What was that just now? I swear I saw something. Am I seeing things? Did the cold get to me? Ah, get a grip on yourself, Augustine. Wait, this is... I don't remember him smoking. Oh, yeah. He pretended to so that he looked cool in front of the other cool kids. When I warned him, all of them just called him a loser. And the fact that he kept this means... Is he still hanging out with them? Just ignore my worries for him, huh? What? Am I not cold enough for him? Am I really an embarrassment? Anyways, the one thing that I actually need... The lighter. It's not here. Where the hell did he put it? I think that's everything. I need to check for now. Why is it all of a sudden happening to me? It's enough torture as it is having to spend time with. E. Winnie? What's going on? What happened? My hands are freezing. Then why were you building a snowman with your bare hands? No, that's not all there is as to why I was screaming. Though it is a tiny part of it. When you were still investigating the car, I... I saw an ominous shadow moving in the distance through the storm. An ominous shadow? Yeah, yeah. It really scared me. So, I made this little snow friend to call my mind. Cute. Mm, say hi to him. Uh, why didn't you call me? Mm. I kind of feel being aggressive right now is not going to help. Say hi. He's not going to leave me alone if I don't play along. Uh, so, um... Hi there, snowman. You can't just call him that. You gotta call him by his name. What? You you even named him? What is it? Augustine. Why is it why is it my name? Wouldn't it just be confusing? Then you can be Augustine too. Why am I number two? Anyways. I don't think that we should stay here much longer. I have a bad feeling. So, how about you? Did you find anything? It says the fuel's all out, so the car probably won't move. And we'll need a heat source for the frozen parts inside. Couldn't find the lighter. Uh, that. I, I left it in my room somewhere. Since it's impossible for us to get there now. Let's look for something else. Hmm. Huh. And that means... Nothing will change even if we stay by the car, so... We have no choice but to walk forward. 
Our number one priority is to find shelter, plus heat and fuel. Okay, tell me when you're ready. Okay. It's Augustine. Why aren't you putting a two on there? I'm the original. Mm, there's nowhere else to go. I don't think that there would be anything else inside of here. I guess save. Smile, smile. We got this. We can do this. Go, go, go. Woo. Stop hyping this up and just go. Are you moving that slowly because you're cold or? Ooh. His walk is slow. He seems to be very cold. Hmm. I mean... Huh. He's too slow. This leaves me no choice. I'll go talk to him and do that. All right, get on my back. Uh huh? You obviously can't walk because of the cold. I'll carry you. You sure? You don't have to overdo it. Since when did you care about that? I say it's fine. Just stop wasting any more time and... But if I trouble you, you'll... I got this. I can lift you up easy and... I said I don't need it. What? Don't want a trash like me carrying you around? Would that be too embarrassing for you? It's not like that. Why do you keep talking that way? Why do you keep talking like... Huh. Fine, whatever. It's my fault for asking. Th that can't be. I is that... Blood? Why does it look like it's been dragged on the floor? That's... Us! A dead body that looks like a younger version of me. Frozen to death, covered in snow and blood. There is a deep scratch wound across its chest, as if it was attacked with something sharp. It's holding hands with a body that looks like a younger version of Winnie. Ugh. A dead body that looks like a younger version of Winnie. Frozen to death, covered in snow and blood. There's multiple stab wounds on its stomach, as if it was pierced with something sharp. It's holding hands with a body that looks like a younger version of me. Eek! What the hell is going on? A sudden snowstorm? Almost freezing to death? And now, I have to look at my own dead body? This... This is all just a prank you set up, right? Tell me that this is just a sick prank to mess with me. Because... There's just no way all of this is real. I can't believe it. You're really telling me there's... something here with us that can cause those terrible wounds? No. Let's be positive. The body's looking like us is totally freaking me out, but... seeing how it's right on the middle of our path... maybe it's a sign. A very personalized and terrifying don't-go-this-way sign. There still must be time for us to turn back. It's not like whatever attacked them is standing right behind us. Uh... Oops.
<laughs> okay. Uh, continue. Yes, a dead body that looks like a younger version of Winnie. I just have to press Z fast. <laughs> because of the camera view, there's something that's positive. The body's looking like this, seeing how it's right in front of it. Back. Off. You were able to buy time by shoving the creature back with your bag. You just had to jinx it. What were you standing around for? Run. Ah. Ah. Oh. Was I pressing? Sh oh no, I was pressing control. <laughs> Oops. What the? Oh no. Oh crap. Ah! Winnie! What? Sorry, I tripped a little. I'll be fine. So you should. Don't you pull that sacrifice card. Just get up already. You pulled Winnie up. Huh. Thank you. You saved me. Shut up. We're not out of this yet. There's nowhere to hide with how flat and wide this field is. It's impossible to drive it away. And we're going to be out of breath any second now because of this goddamn snowstorm. What the hell do we do? Wait, 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 Augie. I've got a plan. Hear me out. The floor that we're standing on right now, I think it's ice. If we slam our foot down hard enough, we can make it crack. Wait, am I going to have to press Z? We can guide the monster to come towards us to our direction. And on its way to us, it'll step on the crack. And with the ice not being able to handle its weight, the monster will fall right under the water. Are you insane? What if we fall into it? Do you have any better idea? It, no, no. Exactly. We'll get caught if we waste any more time. Come on. I got it. Don't tell me what to do. Let's stomp at the same time. Ready? One. Two. The ice cracked. We did it! Yes, it's working! It's going down! Wait, the crack's spreading wider than I thought it. Would Ah! Augustine! G gotcha! I knew it. I knew that we'd mess up in this somehow. What did I tell you? Ugh. How deep is that hole? It's basically a cliff. What the hell is going on in this place? It just doesn't make sense. All right. Pull me up. Hurry. Augustine. Winnie. What should I... What should I do? Eek. I can't feel my hands. I can't put any strength in them. It's all frozen. I feel like my fingers are going to fall off any second. Uh, I can't pull you up. I I'm trying to, but it won't let me. What do I do? What do we do? Don't. Don't do that. Don't you do that with me. 
You think this is funny? It's not. I'm being serious. Stop joking around and pull me up. I'm not. It's not a joke. I wish it was, but it's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying, but no matter how hard I try to hold on, I just can't. Don't let go. Please don't let go. I'm your friend. We're friends. We're friends, right? Wilp? still uh, my leg it hurts I can't get up I uh, can't freeze to death here I can't I can't go out like this not because of him get up get up move move Move! Move already! You got up. Cold. Cold, 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 cold. Cold. It's so cold. I never knew a person can ever feel this cold. Everything hurts like I'm being stabbed. The cold, it's piercing me. Oh, I probably won't be able to get up the next time I fall. Of course, everything here is frozen too. How is there snow when it's indoors? Wait, this is the hallway of his house. Why here? Is he somehow connected to why all of this is happening? Ugh. Just thinking about him makes my head hurt. For now I need heat, heat, heat. Anything warm, hot, literally anything. That's right, the lighter. He said it's somehow in his room. Somewhere in his room. The stuff Elk is gone. Look, empty. Not useful at all. Look, empty. Not useful or helpful at all. The lighter. It's gotta be a... I gotta get to the lighter first. It's locked. Huh? N no. No, why? Why is it... Why is it locked? No, 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 please. Why, why? Why, 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 why now? If would kick it open, but I don't have the strength this time. The key. I need to find the key. I'm losing my senses. I need to find it quick. Empty, not helpful. Remember to smile and work hard. Did, did he put these up? Will looking at these pathetic pieces of paper be helpful? Reminder, take stuff out of your pocket before putting them in the washer I keep forgetting. We're friends, right? To do, take the keys, return the books, ask Augustine about the stairs. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Why are there lights coming from under the water? Is that an ambulance siren? Why is it so distant? 
I don't get it. Mm. Not sure what I'm supposed to be looking at. That's a weird looking laundry thing. I don't see any lighter here. Thinking back to that, not on the mirror. Maybe he left the keys in one of his clothes when putting them in the washer again. Wouldn't hurt to check. I knew it. There's definitely something in. What the hell is this? Huh? The, the zipper on its back. Is this a fake bodysuit that looks like me? I know, it's a hallucination, but what? why me? Why me in here? In his house? For now, the keys. I need to focus on the keys. He took the keys from its pocket. And that was creepy. The door opened with a click. Yes. This is it. Ugh. Why is it so dark? I can't see anything. The lighter. Where's the lighter? You desperately move around the room with your arms reaching out. And soon you suddenly feel something in your grasp. I did it. I found it. I need to light up the room. What? What is all this? Th those are all... But this... This is his room. Why... Why am I in his... Even the furniture looks like... Me? I get it now. I knew it was suspicious how we were always stuck together. That bastard used me like I was his own for his own advantage. Like I'm an object he'd put in his room. Like I'm his clothes that he can wear whenever he liked. To act like me, to copy me. He applied to the same university as soon as he learned what school I wanted to go to. He started acting nice and got a confession out of someone who I already liked before. He suddenly got interested in an award that I was already working to get and he was recognized for it. He even got into the hockey team that I was a part of since I was young and stole my position. And played in a game that I was supposed to and won. Stealing all the attention from everyone even from my close friends who I knew before he came along. Everywhere I go, everything I do, everyone that I meet, every time that I wanted something, he always shows up and... steals, replaces, and ruins everything from my life. And leaves me with nothing. Now that I truly have nothing left, now that he's already stolen everything from me, he starts ignoring me, talking down on me, pities me. And now, he must be trying to get rid of me for good. To throw me away like a piece of useless trash. To get rid of any evidence of how he used me. That's right, I was always suspicious of him. I always hated him. I don't know how he did it, but everything that's happened from the moment that I got out of the car is probably his fault, too. Yeah, all of this must be his fault. He's trying to hunt me down. 
Augustine. Augustine, is that you? It really is you. So, you were here. I was so worried. I'm glad you're safe. Y you How did you? Well, this place hasn't been really realistic so far. I couldn't hear anything after you fell down that hole. So I knew something else must have happened to you instead of... So I followed you in. I fell, and now I'm here. I don't know why this place looks like my house, though. Oh, and while I was going around looking for you... When he held up a gas tank. I found some fuel! Anyways, are you okay? Are you hurt? Found the lighter. Lighter? That's great. Now that we're both safe again, since we both look around this floor, we should go downstairs. I'll wait for you outside. Can I look more around his room? Nah. Just like nothing else that I can look at. Hmm. Uh, nothing I'm missing. I kind of feel that whole siren thing has some meaning, but I don't know what though. Is the elk still missing? Hmm. If he was able to come down here and seeing how I survived after falling down, there's a chance that monster is also still around down here the stairs to the first floor this bastard he's he's probably planning something to get rid of me again yeah just how, how he tried to do that with the hole earlier I need to I need to strike him first kind of feel like something else is happening. Push Winnie down. Hmm. I wonder what happens if you don't. Snap out of it, Augustine. Are you okay? You're sweating bullets. And what's with that scary expression on your face? You keep talking to yourself and accusing me of something that I never did. I called your name multiple times just now, and you didn't even answer. We can't go on like this. Augustine, I... I have something to ask you. When I fell down from the stairs last winter... I saw you. I know you didn't push me. I know I fell because I accidentally tripped myself. I know that. But I knew you were at a distance from where if you wanted, you could have easily reached out and stopped me from falling. When I was lying on the floor about to pass out, I also heard footsteps of someone leaving the area. And I heard that someone else called the ambulance other than you. I... That's... But, despite it all, I didn't feel resentful or enraged. I just felt... confused. I think that was the first time that I started seriously reflecting on our relationship. All along, I thought that we were best friends. But since then, I realized that you might have thought of us differently. It felt like a wake-up call. 
Even since then, I was paranoid about how you'd feel about me. I thought you hated me. I thought you didn't want to see me ever again. I was scared. I didn't know what to do or what to say, so I started distancing myself from you. But that didn't solve anything. It just made our relationship worse. What we need is... A conversation. An honest conversation. Nothing will change if we just shut ourselves from one another. I'm not mad. I'm not disappointed. I'm not going to blame you for anything that's happened. So just talk to me. Tell me everything. If you don't, then I will never know until the day that I die. Augustine, tell me how you feel. The moment that I heard the words, tell me how you feel, I had forgotten all my suspicion, my hatred, my fear of Winnie. And nothing but all the feelings that I had been bottling up for all these years were left in me which started to helplessly flood out in the most unsightly way possible. I... I... envy you for succeeding. And I'm scared of what'll happen to me in the future because of it. I know I'm supposed to feel happy for you. I know I'm supposed to celebrate your success by your side. I know I'm being selfish. I know I'm being overly emotional. I know that more than anyone. I know I'm being pathetic. I know that. I know that. But I just can't help it. Whenever I see you, I ha can't help but think that you stole everything from me. Whenever I start something, you suddenly start copying me and then take it away from me. It wasn't just once or twice, but every single time. Then you soon master, are a master at what I wanted to do making you loved and recognized, covering me behind your massive shadow, burying everything that I've done so far in the ground, taking away everyone that I wanted to impress, having everyone's attention and fortune heading towards you. And now that you are adored by everyone, you must have felt embarrassed for having to call a nobody like me your friend. No talent, no social life, no skills, now all I have left is the fact that I'm your friend. But you have so much more in life than me. You won't need me anymore. So I thought, you were getting rid of me. I was terrified. I was terrified of you. Is that really how you feel, felt all this time? Augustine, I'll never leave you. There's nothing in this world that can replace you. You were my hero. I looked up to you ever since we first met. I was able to be the way that I am now because you inspired me with how bright and friendly you were. I was able to feel at ease no matter where I went or what I did because I had a friend like you with me. I think that's why I kept following you around. Because I didn't want to leave your side. But I now realized there are still things not even a friend should do. That there is a line that not even a friend should cross. I crossed that line way too many times up until now, huh? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I should have respected your line. I should have thought about how you'd feel. I should have put myself in your shoes. But I was too blinded by admiration back then that I couldn't see that you were my one and only friend before my hero. It must have been so frustrating. It must have been so upsetting. You don't have to forgive me. I know apologizing now won't change the past. But I just want you to know this. You are the coolest and brightest person that I have ever met in my whole life, Augustine. I was only able to do the things that I accomplished so far because you encouraged me back then. Because you gave me hope. You work hundreds, thousands, miles, times harder than me. And I remind myself every day how lucky I am to have ever met a friend like you. What do you mean that you have nothing? You're someone 
who can take over the entire world if you wanted to. You're amazing like that. Thank you for trusting me and telling me the truth. Ah. Uh, now I get it. It wasn't Winnie that was haunting me. The real hunter was. Myself. Already deciding what's going to happen in the future. What other people will think of me in my head. Blaming others for all the misfortunes in my life. Not trying hard enough in the first place and justifying that by saying someone who's skilled than me or popular than me will come along and take all the glory away. It was all me. Even though when he stayed the same, I was too blinded by my own jealousy and insecurity. That no matter what he said or did, I distorted the truth. Didn't even try to talk to him properly and decided that he was only out to ignore me, out to hurt me. Interpreting him the way that I feared and believed in the lies that I told myself to justify hating him. I was at fault all along. It's not true. I'm not as great as you think I am. You've always been a good friend. You always were. I was a fool to have ever taken it the wrong way. I'm sorry. I never should have let you get hurt. You're way more important than my pride. What was I even thinking? How could I have been so childish? I was stupid. I'm ashamed. Hey, we can call it even now since... I did let you fall into that giant hole earlier. It really is okay to brush this off that simply. He... Augustine. We're friends, right? I don't think I deserve you. If you're okay with it, I'd love for you to be my friend. Then, yeah, we are. Ah, <laughs> oh, are you okay? Breathe, Augie, breathe. It's been so long since I cried this much. Wow, <laughs> it's okay. Don't cry. Smile. Shh. All calm down now. Uh, yeah, thanks. Glad to hear it. So, Augie, remember that we're already dead theory that I told you? I've been doing some more thinking on that, and... You know how people say... A person sees their life flash before their eyes? When we're about to die or they're seriously injured? What if this is that? The situation that we're in is the flashback. Well, for us, it isn't just watching the flash like a movie. We're actually experiencing it. We're reliving it, even. Th that means that we're about to die in real life. I did hear ambulance sirens go off a few moments ago, but... Wait, then where are we now? Probably an important memory that we constantly look back at, too. A memory that, in part, impacted our lives the most. Oh, and another thing. Don't people usually see these flashbacks on their own? But look at us, we're sharing it. I think this is because the memories that we're thinking of are the exact same. What were some memories that you think that impacted you deeply in life? Meeting you and seeing you fall last summer. Winter. Winter. Mine too. Our first introduction and... The first time the cracks in our relationship was visibly shown. So the reason why it's suddenly winter now. Why our clothes are suddenly changed. And why this place looks like your house. Is because we're in a mixed memory of the winter when we first met. And the winter when I fell. The house is left the same way when my family first moved in. And our clothes are what we were wearing on the day that I fell. 
you're an indoor wear since you were inside the school. You're an outdoor wear since you were leaving the building. Uh, this is hurting my head. So, what you're saying is... We're currently in a coma and are in critical condition. Probably because of a car accident or something. And our consciousness are trapped in a mixed memory of... The winter when we met and when you fell down the stairs? Wow, you summarized that perfectly. Who cares about that? How do we get out of here alive? Mm. Ah, I got it. This is a flashback of an important memory. That we look back on often, right? Because of regret. Because it deeply impacted our lives. If that's why we're having this flashback. If we get rid of our regret. Get rid of the thing that's mentally haunting us. The thing that keeps making us look back to this memory. Maybe we'll snap back out to the present instead of the past. Back to reality. Since no regret means no looking back. Uh, by the thing that's hunting us, you mean... Yeah. I think that monster... Represents our unhealthy relationship the past few years. It looks like two different animals were forcibly mixed together. It felt like it was in a tremendous pain and suffering. If we defeat that creature, I'm sure that it meant that... Our relationship is restored. Our regrets will be gone. Because we get rid of what was making us suffer. We solved it. We can escape the flashback. Alright. Let's do it then. I trust you. Okay. No need to get that cheerful over it. So, how do we defeat it? All we have on ours are... Fuel... And the lighter. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ugh. Speak of the devil. Well, I really hope it isn't the devil. Yippee, how convenient for us. All right, tell me when you're ready. Uh, still not. I mean, I guess I'm ready now. I mean, there's nothing else left to do, right? Yeah, go. Oh, save. Alrighty. I'll splash the guy with the fuel as soon as I see him. Then I turn on the lighter and clunk it, right? Or chuck it. Yeah, I love when we finish each, other, each other's sentences. Let's go then, to the first floor. We got this. We got this. Eek, there it is. Where? Right there, there. I don't see it. Uh, ah, wow, it's looking right at us. Get the fuel, do it. Wait, no, wait. It looks kind of cute once you get used to it. Stop messing around and pour the damn fuel now. Now, Augie. I... Got it. We did it. We did it. We really did it. Woo, that was so cool just now, Augie. Nah, the way you threw that tank was way more cooler. Then we were both cool, huh? Hee <laughs> Now that we got rid of the monster, what's our next move? Oh yes, 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 our next move. How about that? I didn't think this far ahead, actually. Hee <laughs> You what? Maybe if we let ourselves burn here too, we'll somehow wake up back in the real world? That doesn't sound very comforting. If I die, I'm gonna kill you. Hee <laughs> hee. Ugh. Uh. What? 
Why is everything upside down? This is the car. Is that siren an ambulance? Huh? Winnie. Where's Winnie? Winnie. Ha! <laughs> so my theory was right. The car crash coma trope isn't this cliche. He. <laughs> I'm glad that it wasn't the version where we were already dead. Now that would have been troubling. How can you smile at a time like this? But well, you're smiling too. We had lost consciousness after the sudden crash and found ourselves waking up in the overthrown car. We were transferred to the hospital as soon as we were found. After our checkups, the results showed that despite the severity of the accident, Winnie only suffered minor injuries like small bruises. Never fails to surprise me, that guy. Compared to him, I... Fractured my left leg. I didn't feel upset, though. It was only fair. This made us even. Winnie's move was pushed back after the accident. For almost a whole summer, he stayed by my side so that I could recover faster. The sudden blizzard, the icy field, the monster we faced. We're still not sure if what we experienced was a dream, a hallucination, or indeed a flashback that Winnie talked about. But one thing's for sure. Because of what we went through, Winnie and I were finally able to have an honest conversation. For the first time ever since we met, we became best friends. Eventually, Winnie left. Though Winnie isn't by my side anymore. Thank you for being my friend, Winnie. The Pooh. That doesn't mean that I'll be alone. Aww. Happy ending. I wonder what would have happened if I had pushed the guy. So yeah, that was cold front. Actually, let me see if I can load up to where... Uh, I think it was this one. I want to see what happens if you push him. I mean, obviously that would be the bad ending. Okay, okay, okay. Thinking back to that day when I saw him fall down for the first time. I might have wished for him to just die right then and there. Ugh. Is everything upside down? This is the car. Is that siren an ambulance? Huh? It, him. What about him? He isn't breathing. And he was happy. I had lost consciousness after the sudden crash and found myself waking up in the overthrown car. I was transferred to the hospital as soon as I was found. Apparently he died instantly on the spot when the accident occurred. 
It was an instant death. I couldn't have done anything. It wasn't me who caused the accident anyway, and I was passed out when he died. How could I have ever changed this outcome? His death was nothing to do with me. Compared to him, I... was able to get off with only a few minor wounds and bruises. I was in the center of everyone's attention ever since the accident. Are you alright? It must have been scary. I'm so glad that you weren't hurt that badly. Thank God you survived. You're so strong for keeping yourself together like this even though you had just lost your friend. It's lonely, right? You're sad, right? Tell us anytime if you need anything. We'll be right here for you. No one is looking for him anymore. They only care about me. They only compliment me. They only worry about me. They only recognize me. Just me. Just me. Just me. Finally, now that he's gone. I'm not alone. So, if you kill him, then... You... Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Now we know what happens if you decide to... Push the guy down the stairs. Instead of talking it out with him and, you know, hashing it out. And realizing that it's... You didn't hate him, you... You were just jealous and... There was a lot of misunderstandings between the two of you. Yeah, so that was cold front. What did you guys think? Did you guys like it? Do you want to see more things like this that are not necessarily, you know, furry visual novels, but that are sort of like this type of thing? Because I have seen other things that look interesting. You know? Okay. Anyway, so yeah, you know, write down in the comments what you think, and thank you all for watching slash listening. If you would like to play Cold Front to yourself, you can do so by going down into the link in the description. And it should be the itch.io page, because this does not have anything like, you know, a furry visual novel would. So um, it should be there. And I do not know if the creator has made any other stuff like this. So, or if they have any version of support so like all links will be down in the description if i find them so yeah and i guess that's it for now and i will see you guys in the next video Bye bye